So this is going to be the first of many Little Noodles YouTube videos. We are a variety podcast about pop culture, things that are going on in media, movies, TV shows, etc. We will be posting videos twice a week and we live stream once a week on Sundays. If you would like links to the live stream or anything, please check the description box below and thanks so much for watching. So I'll be venturing out of the forest and it's just starting to drizzle. It's the perfect day to go to a bookstore. So here we go. Wallets, car keys, and lipsticks for later, and the barbecue sauce, of course. Yes, we've got everything we need. <laughs> I'm actually kind of nervous because I don't know how I'm going to talk out loud in the bookstore when I get there about the manga. Uh, I'm going to have to be so quiet. I'm so shy. Okay, all right. Oh my gosh, we're stuck in traffic. Okay, I may have made a mistake. I meant to go to the Barnes & Noble in the mall. Instead, my GPS took me to a Barnes & Noble in a bougie-ass, like, rich tourist shopping center. It's got, like, all these, like, fancy-ass hotels and all these fancy stores. And so it's just gonna be a bunch of, like, bougie, rich tourists that are just, like, eyeballing me while I'm looking for Yaoi. Like, what the fuck? I'm so much more nervous now. Okie doke. So we're gonna go ahead and just stroll casually on in here to pick up my Yaoi or Yuri, whichever. But I found these cute little keychains. I don't know, they were super kawaii. I really thought about getting them, but they were like 12 or $13 and I just couldn't justify it. These were like surprises. Almost got me. Wow, look at that bird. Okay, so we finally made it to the manga section. I was really surprised by how much Attack on Titan there was. And like, who's this Bigfoot looking ass motherfucker? I don't know. I have not read that far ahead, I guess. I don't know what's going on. This looked like it was not fit for a school. I could just kill that teacher. If I got caught at school with that, I could see a suspension or something. It looks kind of interesting though. I've never heard of this before. So I'll probably check this out at some point or another. Worse than I thought. Wowie. Uh, this, uh, I read a book about this and it really did like change my whole philosophy to tidying and cleaning and i'm really really happy that there's a manga version of it i'd love to read this at some point this is just about me a clueless girl oh girl something about foolish maybe she's below average oh yoshiko can rely on her old friend after hours is like the first yuri i picked up i kept going for yuri today i don't know why um but this was about a cool like dj girl whatever i don't know the art style was regular, but the girl was cute, and it seemed like it might be kind of fun. Um, and then I super zoomed in on a good night poon poon. I don't know what this is, but his mom is dead. His dad is useless. Crappy part-time job sleeping on his floor. It's only the rest of your life, right, poon poon? This looks kind of interesting. I like the art style to it. I did not read... I'm not gonna lie, I didn't read that description at all, so I don't really know what it's about, but I picked this up for about three seconds and I decided I didn't want to cry today, so I put it back, and of course we gotta look at little Sebastian. Hello, friend. <laughs> uh, what the fuck happened to this dude's neck, though? <laughs> Death Note, of course. Like a potato chip <laughs> and eat it. I really thought about getting this, but it was volume four, so I was like, nah, I gotta wait till I find volume one. Oh, look, Harley Quinn the manga. This is the second Yuri, <laughs> the second one I picked up. It looked so cute though, A Princess's Secret. Uh, this actually seems pretty cool. It's a Jane Austen novel turned into a manga. I would really like to read it because I feel like I would finally understand that classic novel or whatever. Uh, and then I got a little surprise of, of free coffee. This looks cool, but again, it's about a girl disguising herself as a boy, taking the place of some dude that supposedly died or something. So it's just this, you know, more gender questions <laughs> or something. I don't know. It seemed kind of interesting though. This one looks so Oh, cute. The wolf boy is mine, like this little W lips. I didn't read the description on this either, but a beast boy comedy perfect for the fans of fruit baskets. Look at this little raccoon. <laughs> oh, hoo -hoo. I don't know. It just seemed really precious. I seriously almost got this one. Your name. It's basically about a couple, like a boy and a girl who keep getting flashes of each other's lives and how their stories cross over. The art for this looked fucking amazing. I considered that one too, but it's like $20. No matter how I look at it, it's your fault I'm not popular. It just seems so kawaii. Oh, look at this classic Loveless. 
The Jungle Book turned into a manga. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Ooh, so cute, it hurts. Uh, there's an HP Lovecraft manga. This seemed pretty cool. I would probably check this out at some point, um, just so that I could actually like read those books. And then Neo Parasite looked pretty interesting. 13 short stories based on the Parasite anime. And then I walked away with my goods. I did end up going with Neo Parasite because I'm usually a fan of short stories more than anything. But look at these two cuties they put out while my back was turned. It was just keychains a second ago and I'd come back. I was really disappointed by this piano thing though. Like I pressed these buttons expecting something to happen and then it's like makes no piano sounds. Excuse me? Like what is this? Why would you? Ch Why? I don't understand. I was really disappointed. And now we're gonna leave with my goods. So I ended up just not talking the whole time I was in there because I was too scared, but I was only supposed to get one manga and I ended up getting all of this. <laughs> like, <laughs> what is wrong with me? Oh my God. Okie doke, so I just got home from the bookstore and all my little errands and I thought I would show you guys what I ended up getting. I was only supposed to buy one manga, which I did buy one manga, but I also bought two comic books, some sticky notes, and some like folder dividers. Create your own magic, but they've got all these little labels on the back and they're just these little like divider folders. And I also got these cute little like unicorn sticky notes. These are what's inside. I don't know, I just thought they were cute and I thought they would go nice in my little planners. So those are like the planner goods that I got. Okay, so for the manga, Neo Parasite. Looks pretty interesting, an excellent exploration of the themes of humanity, monsters, and our place in the natural world. Uh, about shapeshifters whose only purpose is to assimilate with and consume the human race. But do these monsters have a different side? A parasite becomes a prince to save his romance-obsessed female host from a dangerous stalker. Another hosts a cooking show in which the real monsters are revealed. These and 13 more stories from some of the greatest shoujo manga artists alive today together make up a chilling, funny, and entertaining tribute to one of manga's horror classics. So I guess it's supposed to be uh, a bunch of short stories based on that anime, Parasite. Um, so I'm kind of excited about this. I love short stories. Oh my gosh, look at this bishy though. Uh, okay. I was looking for yaoi. <laughs> like I wanted to buy a yaoi, but I couldn't really find any that stood out to me. There was a couple of yuri that I was picking up and I was just like, hmm, what is God trying to tell me right now? I'm gay. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. And is for anywhere and any time at all Down here in the deep blue sea F is for frolic through all the flowers U is for ukulele N is for nose picking, sharing gum and sun licking Here with my best buddy for the comic books, um, this one is by Image. Gillen McKelvey and Wilson Cowles, Commercial Suicide, The Wicked and the Divine. Is this volume three? Oh no, I didn't realize that it was volume three. Shit. Okay, well, I guess I should save the receipt and go back and get volume one. Well, it looks really cool. Every 90 years, 12 gods return as young people. They are loved, they are hated. In two years, they are all dead. It's happening now, it's happening again. So I guess I just have like volume three of this. Fuck, man, that's stupid. What a dumb mistake. Um, it looks really cool though, so I'll definitely be trying to find volume one. I won't read this until I get volume one and two. Wow, that's a commitment I didn't realize that I was making. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be, that was really dumb. The second one that I got, and I hope this is, vol this is volume one, I got Motor Crush. The art looks really incredible. Um, it comes with a poster. Oh, the poster's gonna be cool. Look at this cute poster. This art is cute, look at this. I'm, I'm so excited to read this. I don't know exactly what it's about, but the art is my fucking aesthetic for sure. Look at this. Look at this cute pastel Barbie girl on a motorcycle. It looks like this might be Yuri. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be called Yuri. It's American comics, but... Welcome to beautiful Nova Honda, the racing capital of the world, home of the prestigious World Grand Prix, the illegal street race, the cannonball, and the racer caught between both of them, Domino Swift. Domino is one of the best racers on any circuit. By day, she competes for fame and fortune in the WGP. By night, she cracks heads of rival gangs and brutal bike wars to gain possession of a rare, valuable contraband, an engine-boosting machine stimulant known as Crush. Uh, the team behind the critically acclaimed revamp of Batgirl, it's a sci-fi action-adventure series. 
um, a love letter to anime or at the very least an amalgam of the very best of the genre. Lots of like comments about how stylish it is and stuff like that. So that's why I picked this one up. So oh yeah, um, which one would you guys like to see me do a review on? Next, um, would you like to see a review on Crush, Motor Crush? or a review on Neo Parasite, the short stories. Let me know and I'll do that for my next video. Okay, thanks for watching.